Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by. Felix, he asked me in a comment under one of my videos if he could uh, get a closer look at two of my kids he saw um, when I did uh, one of the videos where I showed the stash that I have. And um, as I mentioned before, uh, if you uh, want to uh, take a closer look at, at some of my kids, um, you just uh, write it in the comments and uh, I'll see if I can make a video about that. Uh, I decided that, uh, yeah, I, I, we could take a closer look at those two kits that Felix he liked. And uh, the first one is this one, AMT's Moonscope. Uh, I guess you can call it a show rod. Um, a little special kit that uh, is not very popular, uh, at least um, I hardly ever see it built. Um, so uh, I guess that not not so many people uh, <laughs> uh, like this one, I don't know. Um, a functional lunar vehicle by George Barris, it's actually said. I don't know if he, I don't know if he built this one uh, one to one or what, uh, I have to admit. Um, here you can see some close-ups of the model that you can build. And uh, of course it is a, a special model, you can say. It's, it's not an <laughs> ordinary car, but um, I, actually, I actually got an idea with this kit uh, to build it in a, in a completely different way, but... Um, I can uh, I will tell you about that when I when I show you the body of the kit. Let's start with the uh, instructions. Um, there's not so many parts in this kit. That's the final. You can see <clears throat> the frame and the. Undercarriage, underbody, what you call it. <clears throat> the axles, tires, wheels, interior. And then the body and the decal assembly, as they call it. And then here you have the, the final. So it's not a, <laughs> it's not a, a multi-piece kit and, um, I think it's a quick little build. The decals. Not so much. You have the white, blue and red stripe with the letter in USA here in yellow. And then you have some gold pinstriping, American flag and moonscope names. So uh, quite simple also, but yeah. And then we can start with the body. <clears throat> it is supposed to go together like this. And um, I always thought that in one way it's a cool kit, but it's also a little, <clears throat> excuse me, it's also a little irritating that there's not so many possibilities, uh, I think, um, to change it. It's, it's not like a, I almost want to say, normal show rod. Um, this one is a lunar vehicle, so <laughs> so there's not so so much, <coughs> excuse me, to, uh, to do uh, with the kit, I think. But I actually had a plan once. I wanted to make this the front of the kit and uh, close the, the rear here somehow and then make it into a tow truck. Just an idea I got. But anyway, this is the body of the kit. It's also, I think it's a nice little kit to build. Um, box stock. And then you have all kind of parts. That's batteries. This one here, I don't really know what that is, but <laughs> again, it's not like a normal show rod, so it's it's difficult to see maybe what the parts are. Uh, yeah. Lunar thingies. 
I guess you can call many of them. <laughs> Here's the interior. Actually look nice with the structure like a carpet. You have the seats. Of course, there's one more. It's just in the box. And the um, the inner inner wheels. <clears throat> here are the front window, and then you get a little stripe here. I don't really know where that one goes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's a <coughs> when you look at the box, it doesn't seem like you you're going to use these, but I don't know. Here the frame. For the kit, very simple. Looks like a small trailer frame almost. Uh, this one has to go, but anyway. <clears throat> and then you have the chrome parts. Very simple wheels. Rear axle. Some shocks, I can see the grill. And a lot of things that I don't really know what is. That's the instruments. An antenna, and then there's the uh, the other seat, and you have a, a red glass, some kind of real light, and then probably the the widest show rod tires in a kit, I think. Um, Two parts, some uh, some beefy rollers, you can say. So as you can see, not many parts in the kit. A fun little kit, um, but yeah, I don't know if I want to build a box stock or if I want to do that rigger I talked about, but. I probably put it together one day, box stock, I think. So, um, but anyway, that was the first of the two kits that uh, I wanted to show today. So, uh, let's take the next one. The next one is actually one of my all time favorite show rods. And that is this one, the Death Charger Aqua Rod. Designed by John Bogosian, AMT, as you can see. Um, I have always been interested in diving, especially deep sea diving. So, of course, when I first saw this one, I just thought that is cool. Um, and you can see here in the box, a couple of different paint schemes. And here you can see some of the parts that are in the kit. Scooper stopper anchor. Air cooled stern drive deep six engine. Shark shooter. Spear gun. Pontoons. Snorkel exhaust. Anchovy chopper propeller. <laughs> they're very uh, they're very funny with that description. Peekaboo periscope guidance system. And the Vinyl Sea Monster rear tires. And mini minnow vinyl front tires, and and last we have the plated wheels, fore and aft. So uh, yeah, they're very uh, humorous when they describe the parts in the kit. But let's see what's inside. Now this one has been started a little bit. Uh, I have some more of this kit, but they're sealed and I don't want to break the seal yet, so I'll show you this one anyway. First of all, the helmet itself. <clears throat> As you can see, I, I, I began to put it together, but it's very simple because you can see there's a line there and there's a line here. So you have the two parts, the side parts, and then the top here is one single part that you put on top. So that's very uh, that's very simple, so I need to to sand down the seam lines here and, and smooth them out. So um, 
So that's the helmet, easy to put together. And I put the tanks together also. Um, you have the seam line all around here. So you have the front and you have the rear of the tanks. Um, so it's very uh, simple to put it together. And uh, But of course you, you get a lot of seam lines that you have to eliminate. And that's probably the biggest job with this kit is to eliminate all those seam lines. <clears throat> the rear tires, two parts also. Also some very, very white, meaty rear rollers here. And then the front, <laughs> it's almost disappearing beside the rear wheels. Very small and skinny front tires. This is the uh, interior you have here, and you can see there's this little lip, then it fits onto that one. And on the hole in the middle, you put the periscope that goes all the way up in the helmet. And then on top, you have an, an outside periscope you put up here. The chrome parts. For the side windows, you have some for the exhaust here, for the scuba tanks, the mask in front of the of the helmet. You have the exhaust, <coughs> the anchovy chopper propeller, headlight buckets, and there is the outdoor, um, as I call it, the outdoor periscope. And. Uh, Front wheels, what you call that, radius rods, something like that, and some uh, carburetors and and uh, stuff for the engine. It's uh, I think it's a Corvair engine in the rear. Then you have here you have the um, periscope and for the mask in front of the helmet. And the air hoses for the tanks. You have the headlight buckets here. And a couple of shark fins to put on top of the headlight buckets. The flag. And the rudder. And you have here the um, parts. That's some parts for the... Uh, for the, uh, yeah, what you call that, on top of the air tank, you know. So the breather or whatever you call it. And here you have the frame. Very special kind of frame. And the front axle is molded into the frame and uh, no steering, of course. It steers with the, <clears throat> with the rudder behind, behind the propeller. Here you have the uh, rear wheels, the gearbox, parts for the engine, rear axle. And that's one of the pontoons, they call them, to go on the side. And then you have a choice of, of glass clear. Uh, this one is of course for the mask, for the side windows and for the headlights. And you can choose clear, you can choose purple, you can choose blue, or you can choose yellow. So, multiple choice of windows. The instructions. It's also a quite simple kit, I think, to put together. Here are the six-cylinder Corvair engine. I think it's a Corvair engine. Rear wheels, front wheels, rear axle and engine to the frame. Start on the exhaust on the front axle. 
then you put together the mask for the helmet. You put the helmet together, side windows, the breather, air intake they call it. You have the interior bottom and the periscope as I talked about before. The scuba tanks to go on the back and the regulator, that's what they call it, yeah. Some spotlight, a spotlight you can put also if you want that. You have the um, helmet here with the periscope on top. You put the tanks on the back of the helmet and the air hoses from the from the air intake and up to the regulators. And then, yeah, you can see the headlights with the shark fins, the pontoons with the spear gun and the flag. And that's actually it. And then... Um, and then we have the uh, the uh, decals. Let me just open this one just a second. You also get a get an AMT sticker. And here you have the decals, and uh, again you get multiple choices, and um, and also the humor goes again here in the decals also. But death charger names here are for the, for the flags. Uh, I don't know what the the yellow, uh, excuse me, the red flag means. I don't know if it's a diving flag in uh, Denmark. It it looks different. It's blue and white, but it might be a diving flag. But then you have the Jolly Roger or the death charger name. These are to put on the tanks if you want that. And then you have all those fun remarks. This tank, that tank, <laughs> bubble bath, whipped cream, cherry flavor, soda, fizz, lemonade, go go juice, ketchup, mustard. You can see there's different uh, very there's a, a lot of uh, different um, possibilities for fun decals. Nitro, helium, holy mackerel, this rod stop for seahorse races, salt water, sea water, there's a lot of, of different tuna tank. And then this one, sorry Charlie, I don't know what that is, I think it's something from an American TV show or something like that, I'm not sure, I don't know the meaning of that one, but anyway... You can see a lot of different funny decals. And then these are for the side windows and for the window in the mask. And uh, there's one interesting thing about these. You can, of course, you can you can choose the black ones. If you want it to be nighttime, you might say. And you can choose the blue ones with the, with the fishes. But if you notice, the blue ones, uh, the blue color is solid. And um, actually... Years ago, I bought an original Death Charger before the reissue, of course, and I renovated it, and I paid a lot of money for that. And um, one thing shows that this one is an original, and that is the blue decals. You can see they were see see through; they are not solid. Uh, this one is almost gone, but. But that's the difference between the, the, the original kit and the, uh, the reissue, that the blue is see-through on, on the original. Uh, I had some parts missing on this original, so I used one of the reissues to, uh, to finish it. Um, and um, I think it came out, it came out nice. Um, I just try and get the... Camera down a little bit, but anyway, guys, that was the um, the death charger. So I hope you liked the uh, like this video, Felix, and everybody else, of course, also. And um, I let me just end uh, the video by by saying that if you um, didn't subscribe subscribe yet to my channel, please do. That will help me out a lot. And go and uh, check my um, spring store. I have the link in the description underneath, underneath this video. 
And if you didn't join already, go and join our Facebook group. Uh, I will put the link also in the description under this video. So please check those things out, guys, okay? And then only one thing to say until the next video. Take care. Uh, model on. Bye-bye.